Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we went to the bank, got a loan, was able to borrow some money from the bank, and um, we bought Beecher's Hope. So hopefully we can um, show Abigail and Jack, and now we're just gonna go see Sadie up in Valentine. She's got some work leads, and honestly, I... Need some money. Please, somebody. Hey, you, you. Hello, ma'am. Please, you gotta help me. What happened, ma'am? Mr. Abel Stucks been wanting us to sign our land over. Only this time they, I escaped, but they. Mr. Abel they again. Have my husband. They're gonna kill him. Abel Stucks, huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. Well, they ain't gonna kill him if I kill him first. Good morning. Morning, mister. All right, where are you, Laramie? Ah! Laramie boys? Whoa, now. If you don't sign this over, I'm gonna take a long time on you. Just do it. Now... You see, I will say this. I'm doing a voiceover and in retrospect. Yeah, I really didn't see the open attic or the the basement gates. I just it was in my purple vision and I just assumed that they were inside the house and so I was just just like where's the door? How do I get inside? Okay, there's the door. Here I go. It's locked. What about the other one? So it shit. So I was like, let me in. You know, I gotta save this guy. And to my left, there was just open basement you gates. So fuck, I lost some honor there and I was like, let me in. I'll kill you. Oh, turns out they just emerged. I was like, ah, oh, are you kidding me? God damn it! The hell? Fuck you! <laughs> hey, <my boys. laughs> God damn, humiliating me like that! <laughs> I cannot believe I wasn't able to to save the man's life. I feel terrible. Fuck. This is a stupid mistake. So, in terms of redemption, um, it's not really going too well. But uh, let's just get out of here, Rachel. Let's just get out of here. I'll do better next time. I just... I just gotta go see my friend the Trapper. <laughs> see what's up. <laughs> Make myself feel a little better. Well, I got these uh, white elk riding shoes. Let's see what else I can... Adorn. Now, I'm liking this white bison coat. Makes me feel like a magician. You'll have a one-off catch for me to work with. Not yet, eh? I feel like a goddamn wizard. Yeah. Wow. Look at me. Hey, it's um It's that guy Arthur talked to. In one of my first, first episodes. Kid, you're still whining and moaning? Last time it was about a girl. Really, 
Lily May again. Making my life a misery. Dude, Today. it's been years. And not. Got quite an arm on you. Ain't much in the mood for company right now, partner. I mean, he is a little older. All right. You don't strike me as a happy fella. All those years chasing her. Well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. Then she finally says yes. Wow. <laughs> What a mistake that was! It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. You know, you remind me of a feller I talked to years ago. I was slinging these pebbles then, too. <coughs> feller told me to be a good man and the wife come. Bastard ruined my life. Bro, you're the one who wanted her. What happened? Listen, partner. I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but... It's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. You weren't but a little boy Should've when I talked to you. To get that ring on your finger, Lily May. Yeah, I would agree. Um, especially if you're like... Never known a more evil poor man! <laughs> 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. Like... Don't get married. Avoid going home no longer. You're good. You know what'll happen. Uh, I'm dying to know, Mister. What happened to you? Hey, you're a Mister now. You ain't no boy. No. That's a deer. My kill instinct. All right. 